okay so prakash thanks a lot for your time you gave me this morning on sunday and looks like you're thanks, sitting sir. in car for this interaction thanks a yes, lot sir. for this okay sir okay so prakash you are presently in hpcl and i wanted to interact with you uh, okay. as you know hpcl has again declared the written exam and uh, they are going to recruit students again this year that is the second exam yours was the first season of that exam and yes, i want to interact with you in that direction only so before okay. i go forward prakash i want your brief uh, background i mean from which part of india you are and when did you uh, clear your gra graduation and after that what were you doing and before okay. you wrote this exam and uh, what was your score in this exam so that particular background okay uh, sir uh, i did my btech in mechanical engineering i am from uh, south india kerala okay. uh, the capital city of kerala toronto that's where i'm living okay. and uh, i did my graduation in mechanical engineering from kerala mm -hmm. university and mm -hmm. then uh, after that Uh, after after that uh, i then uh, started preparing for gate and uh, during gate preparation i got a score of 726 and i got an all india rank of 1870 okay and then after that i joined drdo as jr mm -hmm. and uh, worked there in npo el kochin okay. and i worked there for almost one year uh, four months and mm -hmm. parallelly i was preparing for gate and other technical examinations so okay. during that time i wrote this hpcl examination and uh, i got uh, 159 out of 170 Okay. Uh, like uh, uh, so 170 uh, uh, 75 uh, sorry 85 questions was technical and 85 was aptitude so i was uh, good in aptitude and uh, technical due to this preparation for gate i scored 159 mm -hmm. and then after that uh, interview and uh, group discussion was there so mm -hmm. i joined your pdf for uh, that coaching mm -hmm. and uh, you helped me a lot sir <laughs> i okay. called you after the uh, declaration of the results so thank you so mm -hmm. that's a good experience yes i that's remember you we used to talk about uh, this drd jr activities also and yes, i remember that also so prakash yes, i want to ask you since you have scored very good in written exam you said 159 out of 170 right Yes, sir. So that is very good score. So how could you manage to get such a good score? You said you were good in non-technical part also. So what was the reason of your this high good score? Sir, actually, non-technical part I was uh, pretty good in that because from the after twelfth itself I was practicing like English and aptitude I was good in that. Like uh, my basically my aim was to get a government job uh, to serve government of India, and mm -hmm. so I knew that uh, English and aptitude is a must for that. So mm -hmm. I was uh, preparing for that from to my twelfth itself, and uh, technical. I after B Tech, I did, like for one year I was completely into gate preparation, and that's mm -hmm. how I got that rank. And mm -hmm. after that, uh, while serving in DRDO also, I was parallelly preparing. Okay. So that's how I got the marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, Prakash, you know this exam has a different requirement because uh, if I compare it with the gate exam, then gate exam has uh, you know uh, in-depth technical questions and non-technical focus is not that much. But in this exam, fifty yes, percent weightage is there. So we may yes, not expect uh, any questions and all, and there is no yes, negative sir. marking here. So the paper attempting uh, strategy also has to be different. Uh, yes, other exams there is a negative marking. I want yes, you to advise the students who are listening to you how the exam pattern is different in HPCL uh, from other standard exams and how the exam attempting should be different. Okay, uh, different from gate is just like you said. There, uh, gate if, uh, gate requires us to go in depth. and uh, also uh, like uh, the problems will be a bit difficult in gate but here it's not like that it's uh, we don't need to go to the depth but we need uh, we don't need depth we need breadth like we have to cover everything not in the depth but the surface we want to cover everything so like uh, uh, our core subjects we must be knowing everything and uh, i think uh, like what to say ssc je preparation the for that uh, similar preparation uh, like of that of ssc je is enough for this like uh, we don't need to go into hard Uh, problems and all, but we must be knowing basic things about everything. That's what is required here. And uh, regarding non-technical, you know, it's uh, non-technical is almost uh, like comparable to what is being asked in GIT. So that's enough, I think. That's what I have. So that means you should be jack of all trades. Maybe you are jack not master of any one, but you should be yes, jack exactly, of all sir. trades. Exactly, exactly, sir. Exactly. And what about paper attempting? I mean, you you have to attempt all 170 out of 170, right? Yeah, 170 out of 170 I attempted, sir. Mm. So there may be still some questions where you had given blind guess, uh, uh, Prakash, because uh, out of you know 170, I, I presume you may not be knowing all 170. So no, sir. Blind guess is done. Ah uh, yes, sir. Some blind guessing was also there, but uh, if you can manage in time, then I don't think guessing is required because uh, for one seventy questions you will get enough time. If you are good mm -hmm. in non technical, you will get enough time. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you will have to take guesses. But still, also some questions will be wrong. So we mm -hmm. must know that even if you are not getting the answer, the question may also be wrong. So if you are wasting too much time in that, then we will have to take guess in uh, so many questions. So mm -hmm. my advice is don't 
think that every question is uh, like uh, the answer will be right for every question some questions will be wrong like, uh, like in my case i think about 6 7 questions was wrong okay. so if i had seen that I, i didn't get the answer i have to get the answer i, I was wasting time on that then i wouldn't be able to attempt this much mm-hmm. so if some questions there will be wrong and uh, some questions you may not get also so don't mm-hmm. don't waste time on that mm-hmm. you just uh, you just plan your time accordingly and uh, take less time on this english and all english aptitude and all and uh, if uh, like if you are good in that uh, but anyway don't waste much time on a single question that's what i have to say so so is there any pattern that which sen- uh, which section you should attempt first like technical you should attempt or non technical is there something like that in examination hall sir in examination hall uh, i don't exactly remember sir uh, but uh, i think technical was Uh, second i think i don't remember exactly the numbers so, no so uh, as and when as as it keeps on coming you should keep on attempting is yes, that sir, something yes, like that yes, okay. no we can switch in between the questions sir okay. but i don't know if i don't remember if we can switch between the sections mm-hmm. i don't exactly remember that sir so is there any sectional counter cut off also prakash like no sir sectional cut off is not there sir sectional cut off is not no sectional there. but in the final result we will be knowing how much mark mark is scored in the separate sections but mm-hmm. sectional cut off is not there I want to take your opinion on a very relevant thing, which is called, uh, you know, appearing for the test. Normally, okay. what mistakes students do now? These kind of exam, which have only span of three months, the day they okay. declare the exam, and within three months everything is over. So, okay. for such exams with such a very less uh, short duration, student keep on postponing their, you know, testing. Like they are preparing, and they say, okay, we will go for test series or testing later on. At what stage they should start going for testing? So, what is your opinion on that? sir uh, i think that since so, uh, less time is there what we should uh, do is we should start writing tests earlier itself like at least some 10 15 tests we must write in order to get good in them because the, uh, the thing is we may we may be knowing everything but time management is different because mm. only if we write exams we will be able mm. to manage our time properly then only mm. we can get good scores so That testing is very important testing is very important we must not wait till the end to write the test because even if we don't know everything by writing tests also we will be gaining knowledge some questions some particular questions we may be remembering okay remember like oh yeah that they made the mistake the answer is like this only so writing test not only helps to uh, like revise it also helps to improve your knowledge some questions we not may not be knowing while we are studying we'll be writing this test and we'll be getting that so uh, writing test earlier on is very good that's better i think mm-hmm. okay prakash i want to ask you another very relevant question and that is uh, on behalf of those students who have recently started their profession for last 3 4 5 months and all so they keep on comparing themselves with those students who are preparing for years like one year two years three years and they get demoralized okay. that our we may not prepare what mindset okay. should be there for student who has just started preparing for last two three months for this exam no we mustn't have such a mindset because uh, like in my case i was working and barely preparing so if i had compared to a person who was completely into preparation like uh, yes. people may be going to different institutions and maybe yeah. into completely yeah. into preparation so if yeah. i go demoralize didn't write the exam then i wouldn't be in such a position yes. so yes. what i have to say is don't compare with anyone you mm-hmm. find your uh, strengths and you prepare according to that and mm-hmm. this uh, time like three months six months that's not uh, something to compare you okay. put your best efforts and you will definitely clear the exam mm-hmm. that is wonderful that's piece of advice saying. that is wonderful piece of advice prakash i'll not take your much time now so okay, uh, okay. with last last thing any advice you want to anything you want to tell to students who are listening to you and writing this exam okay one thing is prepare yourself like sir said you must write some exams don't uh, just go blindly in the exam because we may think that we will be knowing everything and uh, like uh, technical non technical we will be able to clear in time but it's not a, not such a case we must write tech- exams we must prepare ourselves and most probably uh, if we can write if we can we get, we must write good quality exams like there will be free exams that we can get but uh, that may be only the previous year's question like just preparing the previous year question is different than uh, preparing new questions because our exams we cannot accept we cannot expect to get the previous year questions alone mm-hmm. so we just uh, write exams that are quality exams mm-hmm. and uh, prepare your uh, plan your time accordingly mm-hmm. and all the best to everyone that's mm-hmm. all i have to say chalo that's wonderful prakash and i'm really thankful you spared your uh, time for me in despite of your hectic schedule today so i'm really Excellent. thankful to you and i'm very sure whatever you have told students will listen to it carefully and they will get benefited all the very best for your career prakash thank you thank you sir thank you so much